winning edge meetings, the things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Ready, break. And again, this time to the tailback. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. They'll go option to the short side, and now he'll tuck it and run. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. They'll set up to throw. And a quick throw here that's complete. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get up. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. That one looks like he'll throw here. Eluding the pressure right. And the pressure gets to him again. So on the strength of four touchdown passes in the first college start for their senior quarterback, the Oregon Ducks are moving on to play for a national championship on Monday, January the 7th. proud of you. Thank you, sir. That was a gutsy performance out there tonight. You took us to a national championship when nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Means a lot. <laughs> Yeah, baby, we're going to the chip. Whew. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! <laughs> Em, looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? Okay, hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? 
Yeah. But Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I think I'm gonna have to go with purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, look. <laughs> you see, look, you don't, you don't pick from the options given. All right, the game is in the name. Off the board. Yeah, now nah, it's clicking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, look, if I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches his horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, uh, Onyx? <laughs> okay. I told you, she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? I, Todd Atwood. I'm, I'm Lee's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns? Oh. <laughs> is, is that okay? Uh, well, four touchdowns is a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes! Don't, don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Emily. You too. All right. We're days away from the national championship no, game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? She's hot. Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game. She's really hot. Game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Nah, not, not at all. It? No, no, not that's no. it. But hold on. Kyle's wearing security guard thing like on his back. Thinks he's the president. Son, I don't think he has to be. And this, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that. Your teeth. That team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the I game. Like You're disabled. Very. I do like this guy now because he's black, but. His sweatshirt, his sweater, and his leopard, but he also defends me every time. Boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, Ooh. but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent, but they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real, he's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. Yeah, he wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you right, say to a man. kid that has so much to lose on that field? That you're hot, and then I really need to hit you up. Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Hey, sure, Coach. Jack Ford, how you doing? So I talk. <sighs> you know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. And a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you got to take a step back. All right? You got to breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that. <laughs> and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Right. Yeah, thanks. Good on. Yeah, yeah. Once when Oregon and Ashton say each other. <sighs> At Marcus Mariota.
All right, here we go. We crown a champion tonight here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship Clemson. game. As we'll see the Clemson Tigers taking on the Oregon Ducks. This is sick. Trevor Lawrence in there. I'm kicking off. Here we go, the matchup we've all been waiting for. Number one versus number two, and off we go in the college football playoff national championship in Santa Clara. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Clemson now with a first and 10. Gonna hand to Jewel. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Clemson, of course, back in the college football playoff for the fourth consecutive year. Champions in the 2016 season, trying to make it two titles in three years if they can get things done. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. But one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it's going to be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they're in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Off play action. Cooper. He gets it to Thomas. And he will score. Touchdown, Clemson. Zacharias Thomas. 38 yards. And Clemson has taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Take it. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Three. Here we go. Come on with the bomb. Down 7 nothing. Work to do already as he gets set to begin college game number two. Hey, Charlie! They'll try and start this drive in the air. Escaping the pressure right. Throw left side complete. That's Parsons. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. So here's a first and ten at the 38. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Second and 11. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. 23 yards to pick up there. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Back to throw here. He'll get this to Streets on the crossing route. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. They'll go option to the short side. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Back to throw now on second and ten. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Looking to throw. 
He will find the open man at Streets. And he has the first down before yeah. he's tackled at the five. All right. The Ducks will come up now on a first and goal situation. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down on about the two. Well, it's been the air game that's taken him down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting this. And he is okay. into the end zone for an Oregon touchdown. It's their quarterback scoring on the two-yard keeper as his guys are on the board here this first quarter. Defensively, they told us that the top priority was defending option plays this week.
But here on the very first drive, the defense broke down a bit. It certainly did, and it's really not a surprise because defending option football is difficult. You have to think too much. Most of the time, you just react to what Whip. you see and you play fast. Here you're reacting, you're processing. Do I have the back? Do I have the quarterback? Who do I take? Do I take on a blocker? And next thing you know, he's in the end zone. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense in Tumman. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. There we go. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. With Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. it's our visiting side with a football to begin quarter number two. As they got it with a second and ten. They'll run with Jewel. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Here's Cooper. Oh, he got position he really, on him, oh, and he pulls wow. it in. Whoa, that ball spinning. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. Good. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big time completion. Good job. Well, a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Now Cooper looks to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. So they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Now Cooper. From the gun, he'll throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he claps down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. Here's a first and 10, Oregon. They're going to look to throw out to his left. Oh, that. and that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Do like Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Second and 10. On the crossing route oh. complete. It's Parsons. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Now they try the right side here. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. Hey, box drop, box drop. They'll drop the throw. Oh, it's hard throw, incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And it's complete. They're going to get the first. 
They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And as a result, the possession switches hands. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass oh, option. No gain yeah. there on the completion. Oh. Second and ten. Yeah. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Cooper looking to throw on second down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. For a second there, I thought that might bring big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Back to throw is Cooper. Let's go on third and two. Jeez. Well, the other day they told us when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. But Charles, we talked in the semifinal about Isaiah Street's brother, Ezekiel, lost due to leukemia exactly oh when you... And well, he's got I'm daylight. Going. It's a foot race. He's at the 30, 10, and finally oh, out of bounds inside the five at the four. A big play there just before halftime. 74 yards. The Ducks will come up now on a first and goal situation. He'll look to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Second and four. This is caught, and he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. Carnell Priest as the first half is winding down. And his guys have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Oregon yeah, set boom. to kick it off. Oh, that's a boot. Oh my god. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with the field position what it is, maybe better suited to just sit on this one? I'm with you totally. I would sit on it and get into the locker room and, and right. start over. But if they do decide to try and make a play, we know what the basics are. You run draw, you run screen. I can maybe run a little Great. swing pass and try and get my lineman out in space and see if they can chop a hole into the secondary and see if he can run a little bit. Hey, come on. Hey, you need to play better in the second half, all right? What? Hey, just give me the ball, all right? Let me do my thing. I agree. Got it. Hey, you know how much this means to me, right? Of course I do. Then make it happen. Okay, man. Jesus, bro. Give me the ball, bro. I think you Just to one half remains in the college football season as we begin the second half of this national championship game. Oh, get out. Jesus. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. They've got to like their position. They lead this championship game. Two quarters to play. What's the course of action in the second half? I think you continue to show your quarterback that you've got faith in him. Continue to run the offense the way you did in the first half. Continue to give him opportunities. But behind his back, head coach is telling the offensive play caller, if you see any moments where it feels too big for him, be ready to dial this game plan back. The Ducks come up now, first and ten. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. 
He'll find his man on the comeback oh. route. Complete. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, to come back Touchdown now, Oregon. Oh, yeah. Look at that tight end. So now Perfect two touchdown, touchdown passes Perfect. thrown, and we talked earlier about the young cancer patient, Emily Atwood. She asked him a week ago for four touchdown passes. Heck, he's already halfway there. Yeah, touchdown. Isaiah Screech relayed that story to us. It's a pretty tall task for a second career start. But the way he's looked these last couple of games, he's not phased by the request, is he? He's halfway there. He's just kind of just one half remains in the college football season as we begin the second half of this national championship game. This will be taken short. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. You can see NFL. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. They'll keep it on the ground. Jewel. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough yeah, go for like to Every see. time he looks Listen up, throws. somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Now you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. Oh, no, he'll field it in the end zone. Wait, what? Why did he run out? When he it's said out and out. done, it's a 58-yard punt. Right. And will come the offense as they take over. So they wound up passing on a long field goal try, but that works out for them really well. That one's down inside the five-yard line. And it's risky because your punter, if he puts it in the end zone, the net result not worth it, but there, I think, worth it. Look at me. Go on. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to float this over the middle deep. Oh, oh incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. He'll look to throw. That'll be taken in by Anderson. And just shedding him off there. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. And a gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. If you were with us for the semifinal, we told the story. I mean, this is a quarterback who was heavily recruited out of high school four years ago on signing day. He had all the hats in front of him. People weren't sure where he was going to go. So many different offers wound up here. And it hasn't been the script he probably would have written. But what a storybook ending this could turn out to be if they can take care of business in this title bout. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Hey, Alpha! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Delay of game, offense. Shoot. Dude, I was trying to, I was looking, oh. So that'll back him up five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Watch the safety creep. 61, match box, one hit. And to give this time to the tailback. Perfect. That's a gain of 11, would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, put a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Yeah. See if he can beat him. Hey, Haywood! They'll set up a throw. Dancing to his left. 
He'll get the first down and more Let's inside go, the 20. Boys. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down in a 21 yard game. Here's a first and 10, Oregon. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Uh, it's Let it well and it's picked. Hey, let's go. They've got a pretty comfortable lead right now, but maybe a little too careless with the football that time for the rookie. I think the key word there is comfortable. And there's two schools of thought on it. With that type of a lead, maybe you can take a few more chances because you have a cushion. Others will tell you, don't eat up the cushion with careless play. He'll learn to ride that line as he moves on in his career. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Take it, take it. So a change of possession yeah, here on the punt. That's really, that's really right. That's the Oregon right. offense on the field ready for their next possession. So, CD, you look at our quarterback. He's said it. He's been consistent. This is it. I'm graduated. I'm not going to go the grad transfer route. It's time for me to move on. If you're an NFL scout, do you see enough in him to think he's got a future in this league with this little experience that we've seen? Every scouting instinct tells me to tell him to go the graduate transfer route. But you know how it is nowadays. And look, he's played awfully well against two top five defenses. Someone's going to take a shot and give this guy a look. Well, several teams need a quarterback. You think about the Cardinals. They're, they're gonna... And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage. So that's a sack. Back now here on EA Sports. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's into the end zone. Yep. Touchdown, yep. Oregon. Touchdown. Defense. Bang. How the dot. Touchdown. And yes, they the want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple boys. seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone, on a take them. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Got it. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off because becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed yeah, alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. Uh-oh. And he'll weave his way up, all the way up, a few yards shy of midfield. Even after that big time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, they can turn to this play and say, hey, we can move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. That throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he will take this in for a Clemson touchdown. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them play running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big oh play in the end zone. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it, because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. 
The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, no time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off the game. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. The Ducks come up now, first and 10. They'll look to throw here. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now back to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Being chased out left. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Well, the offense failed earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. Found his target. It's Anderson. And they'll wind nice up job. getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Fourth down conversion plays. You yeah, usually well, think right. one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. He may try and run for this. And all the way down inside the five. We love that. We love that. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. The Ducks will come up now on a first and goal situation. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. To oh the goal God, line, it's but it's open. incomplete. Is it a clear one? Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Back to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind Damn. up incomplete. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've got to run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Touchdown that's Oregon. It. Quintez Anderson, his second touchdown of the night. And the Ducks have furthered their advantage. There you go, Charles. Apparently all she had to do was ask. How about that, his fourth touchdown pass in this championship game? Give her credit for asking. Give him credit for living up to it. And I bet they're both relieved that there won't be another game. She might ask for eight touchdown passes in that one.
Now after the touchdown, here's Oregon set to kick it off. And yeah, they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time. See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. Oh my God. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Cooper will look to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long, got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. Uh, throwing here to start to drive as they connect left side. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw. And he's got it complete to Anderson. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Here's a first and 10, Oregon. That one looks like he'll throw here. Fine time to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Oregon. Isaiah Streets there to make the grab. And the Ducks have furthered their advantage. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here. Let, oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets hey, it in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better. Yeah. As they, continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. 23 yards to pick up there. On first down, Jewel. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Back to throw, Cooper. Incomplete. I drew that play that time. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Uh, another incomplete pass we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. Mm -hmm. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Cooper now on first down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Here's Cooper on third and two. And he will score. Touchdown Clemson from 10 yards out. And his guys are able to close that gap just a bit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's I over, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that. So after the touchdown, Clemson back out there to kick this thing away. Let's go near and finish this This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and Let's down at the 28-yard line. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. And Charles, at this point, it's all about game management. See this one out, and you're national champions. I think if you go back to the Marcus Washington injury and you ask the coaching staff, what percent chance do you think you have of winning two games and winning the national title? I'd say they cap it at, what, 15, 20 percent? That might be generous. And if you ask the students and the fan base, probably even lower than that, closer to zero percent. And that's what makes this performance definitely one for the ages. They'll set up to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. Oh. about this story behind a quarterback who had never taken a snap in a college football game until nine days ago they are